Often, the most important question to ponder over before creating a database is to decide what should be the block size. I have told already many times in my other videos, there are five block sizes available. 2K, 4K, 8K, 16K, and 32K. Why are there so many options? Which block size should I set for my database? So there are two questions you need to ask upfront. Number one, what am I going to do with this database? Am I going to predominantly do DMLs, which is manipulation, or am I going to query? DMLs means we are considering a transaction processing system. I will classify that as OLTP. Querying predominantly means it's a reporting system or a data warehouse system or an analytic system. We'll categorize that as a data warehouse or analytic system. So that's the first thing you need to ask. Sometimes you might have a mixed mode, but look at what will you be doing predominantly. The next question is how much will I do? How many DMLs will I do at any given time? Or how much of data will I fetch at any given time? These two questions will help you to decide the optimal block size for your database. Let's take a simple example. We have a table which has got a thousand rows. Now you can extrapolate this to a million rows, to a hundred million rows, whatever number. I'm taking thousand rows just for simplicity purposes. If I've got thousand rows in a table and each row is going to occupy one kilobyte of space, then let's do some mathematics. Number one, considering the five different block sizes listed above, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32, in each of these blocks, I can keep two rows or four rows or eight rows or 16 rows or 32 rows considering one kilobyte per row. For now, for simplicity sake, I'm just ignoring zero as the header size. We'll come back to the header later. This enables us to calculate things easily from a learning perspective. Number two, if I'm going to keep thousand rows in each of these sized blocks, how many blocks will I need to store this? Remember, Oracle block size determines the smallest unit of IO Oracle is going to read from the data files. And that will be the buffer size in which your SGA buffer cache is going to be sized. So if you had kept your block size to be two kilobytes, then your buffer cache in the memory is organized into buffers of 2K. Every block from the data file is read into the buffer cache. If I have two kilobyte block size and I put thousand rows in a table, then I will need 500 blocks to store that. If I had 4K blocks, 250. 8K blocks, 125. 16K blocks, 62. And 32K blocks, just around 32 blocks. That's what I will end up having in my table. Now let's get into some more details. Our assumption is we have already tightly packed the rows. That's why all the blocks, whichever be the size, they are all filled, which means we might have had PC free to any number, but we're assuming that the rows got tightly packed over a few updates over a period of time. But now, what am I going to do? Am I going to update these rows or am I going to query from these rows? Whichever way you consider, let's take the scenario simple. If you're going to update, then you need transaction slots for every row that is updatable. So if I have two transaction slots per block, then in the case of 2K blocks, at 500 blocks required to keep all the rows, at two transaction slots per block, I have a total of thousands of transaction slots available for the table at any given time. And if you consider a single block, both the rows inside the 2K block are updatable concurrently by two different users. In the case of 4K blocks, I still have two transaction slots. And with 250 blocks, I have only 500 transaction slots available. Similarly, 16K blocks, I have only 125 transaction slots. And 32K, I have totally only 64 transaction slots. 
which means if I need heavy concurrency to allow multiple users to manipulate multiple rows simultaneously, then the 2K gives me maximum concurrency. Now you might argue, why not increase the transaction slot? Yes, you may. If you increase your init trans, then remember the header is going to grow. So then if you increase your transaction slots to be larger and you want, let's say, an 8K block with eight rows in it to allow for eight concurrent transactions, there is also a contention for the block in the memory in the form of a buffer when eight people want to access it concurrently. So when you're going to have heavy concurrency, consider 2K blocks with the fact that you want to do as many concurrent DMLs as you want across different users that allows that to happen. Sometimes you may even set PCT free to a larger value so that you don't want too many rows in a block. So choose the block size which will offer you the maximum concurrency expected from the application so that the database will not make you wait for it. Now the assumption is no two users are going to manipulate the same row at the same time. Now that's not what Oracle is going to allow. Oracle is only going to allow two different users to manipulate two different rows at any given time. If two users want to manipulate the same row, that is a contention for the same row with the help of a lock on the row. That's not what I'm talking about here. On the other hand, if you're doing querying, if you're doing reporting, then you want to get as much data as you want by fetching the block. So if I take the case of 30 tk block, by reading one block, I get 32 rows. And I can read the entire table by just reading 32 blocks. The number of IO operations I need to do is only 32 here. Whereas if I had used 2k blocks to do querying, then I need to read 500 blocks. I have to read 500 blocks from the data files and bring it into the memory. Though the total amount of data is the same, the number of blocks is varying. So when you are doing querying, consider using larger block size. If you are doing DML, consider using smaller block size. Now when you are having a mixed mode, you choose the most appropriate block size by doing benchmarking on your application with a database with different block size and arrive at the most optimal block size for your application.